Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to power on the 2GIG GC3E security system. Like most security systems, uh, the GC3E receives primary power from a plug-in transformer and backup power from a backup battery. So if um, your power goes out or you unplug the transformer, the system will remain running uh, using the backup battery. It'll automatically switch over. Uh, the backup battery draws a small amount of power um, from the, the AC connection, uh, so that way it stays charged and that way it's, it's ready to kick in whenever power is lost. Um, uh, over time it will lose its ability to store a charge, so eventually you will need to replace the backup battery, but uh, you should be good for a few years with a fresh backup battery. Um, it just needs to you know, charge up and it's, it's good to go. And it's constantly going as the system's running. So uh, the system uses um, a 14 volt DC uh, 1.7 amp uh, transformer. It comes included with the system, but uh, it doesn't come with its own wiring. So you have to provide your own. Uh, we recommend uh, 18 gauge two conductor wire, um, or even better, use a Honeywell LT cable, which is what we're gonna be showing you in this video. Uh, that cable is already prepared. You won't need to strip any wire. It's, it's just good to go fresh out of the, out of the package. Um, so if you use um, an 18 gauge wire, then your maximum wire run limit will be uh, 135 feet. Uh, whereas if you use thinner wires such as um, 22 um, AWG, 22 gauge, uh, 22 gauge will get 55 feet of wire run. And the reason for this, uh, the thicker 18 gauge wire, uh, the thicker wire holds current a little bit better. As the current travels down the line, less power is lost. So that, that's why you're able to use a longer wire run because uh, it has to meet a minimum voltage at the panel by the time it arrives you know, from the, the outlet to the panel. So uh, if you use thicker wire, you'll be able to do a longer wire run. Now uh, the Honeywell LT cable, it's already prepared and it's, it's a fairly short cable, but for most applications, that'll work just fine. So we have our two gig GC3E security system here. Uh, it's not powered on right now. We're going to be powering it on for you today. Uh, we have our 14 volt DC uh, 1.7 amp um, transformer. And this is DC power, so you have to follow polarity. And we have our Honeywell LT cable, and there's two portions of the cable. We're, we're not actually going to use this uh, smaller portion here. Um, we're only going to use the longer portion, but I will show you where that goes if you were to connect it, because you actually have two options. You can use the barrel connector, which is what we're going to do, or the, you can use the terminal block. So we're going to flip our system over here, and uh, you see the back plates on the system, and we're just going to take a screwdriver, and we're just going to stick it in there and um, pull it off, just like that. So we have uh, the system exposed, we can do whatever we need to here. So the first thing we want to do, uh, we have the backup battery, which is over here. Uh, it's the blue and yellow uh, backup battery, and then you see the wires coming through it. Um, so we're just going to take it, and we're going to plug it into the port right here. Just uh, get it nice and secure, and kind of push down the wire a little bit, and there we go. We're good to go with the backup battery. Uh, so now I want to show you how you would um, do the, the transformer. Um, so what we're going to do, since we have the Honeywell LT cable, we can just plug it into the barrel connector right here, just like so. And that's, that's how you get the transformer in there. And you do want to make sure to run it through the back plate, actually, um, which I forgot to do that just now, but I'll show you just what I mean. You're running it through the back plate, like so. Um, then do the connection. So that way, you'll be able to close the panel properly. So run it through the back plate. Um, so make sure to do that. Then at the other end of the LT cable, um, or whatever cable you're using, um, you're going to have to follow polarity. Uh, so uh, we have a red wire and we have a black wire. And the red wire is for positive and the black wire is for negative, uh, since this is DC power. So we're going to take um, our transformer here and our screwdriver. And uh, we got the red wire going to positive. And we're just going to put that in and tighten that down. And then we got our black connection here. And we're going to do the same. And now I do want to point out, if you weren't using an LT cable, then uh, you could also be using the terminal block instead of the barrel connector. So uh, just to show you an example, you'd have the wire coming in like this. This is just any wire that you could prepare. And you want to look on the terminal block, and you see power negative and power positive. So you would uh, loosen these up. These are already loose, actually. And you would do. Um, the, the red for positive and black for negative. Um, just put them in there, and then you could run your wire you know, to the transformer. So that's how you could do that. 
But uh, we actually have our um, backplate, another backplate already on the system here. Uh, so I'm going to just use, do that one for power. You'll have to trust us. The transformer is already plugged in. Uh, so we have our backup battery connected. And we're going to take our system. We're going to uh, take the, the barrel connector here. And we're just going to uh, plug it in right there. And you can see um, our wire is running through the backplate. So we'll be able to close it. And we just take the system, make sure it's not upside down. And you just put it on to place, just like that. And that system's powering up. It has the backup battery and the transformer. It's good to go. It's mounted. We'll be able to use it in future videos. So that's how you power on the 2GIG GC3E security system. If you have any questions about the 2GIG GC3E or about alarm monitoring, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.